Hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and it's been a while so I thought I would go ahead and sit down. Now I've got some time, put on some makeup, we'll catch up and yeah talk about what's been going on, what is going forward hopefully. I don't know. So I have my primer on already. I'm using the Marc Jacobs um, Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. It's really nice and hydrating, so we're using that today. For foundation, I'm going in with my Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage with my Wet Beauty Blender, and yeah, let's just, let's just go ahead and start. So again, it's been a while, um, and how are you doing? Um, yeah, so whew, I think the last video I posted was way back in... September, no, October, September, or October. I can't remember exactly the date, but, um, yeah, it's been a while. It was my last eyeshadows of shame video featuring my, um, urban decay kaleidoscope dreams palette. And I recall being fairly excited about it because it's a very colorful palette. Um, I felt like I was just re hitting my stride getting back into the swing of filming and editing and balancing my time and teaching and doing all the other things. And then all of a sudden I didn't have a hold on it anymore. So I guess let's go back in time. And um, I don't remember if I've ever mentioned this in my previous videos, but we had a leak in our basement and that is where my office sits and um, we had to deal with insurance and plumbing and reconstruction and it was a whole big thing and the original plan to take care of it was to Oh, was to get a pod and pack up my husband's office and pack up all the things so that we could still, I could still have access to my room because the leak was between my office and where everything else in the house is. And it didn't happen that way. And because of everything going on right now, it took months for projects, the whole project to be done. And if I'll um, remember, I can show you a picture of what we dealt with. Um, we live in a 50 plus year old house and the cast iron pipes had rotted out. And um, from the kitchen to the main sewage line going out. And um, it was a next to a nightmare. It was awful. And... It just took so long for everything to line up because we had to find the problem, make sure that insurance would cover it, wait on approvals, wait on scheduling. There were so many moving parts, so many people coming in and out to do the work, and it just felt like it was never going to end. In fact, it's still not quite finished, um, but it's finished enough to where I have my space back. And um, I was left pretty much um, with no access to any of my things. Again, hope I might show a picture here um, because we kind of at the last minute, everything got piled into my office instead of into a pod. And um, the only makeup I had was what I had fit into my beach bag. Uh, in September, we had gone to the beach uh, we decided we were gonna, you know, kind of take a break from everything. We hadn't really done anything as a family in a while. And, um, we decided to go ahead and go after Labor Day because it's mostly empty and we wouldn't have to deal with people and we could still enjoy warm weather on the coast. And, um, it worked out really well as far as that respect goes. Um, but all I had with me for end of September until after the holidays were whatever I fit into my my travel bag and um, in fact we had gone to the beach right after Labor Day and come back 
and I had kept my bag packed because my plan was to film a what I packed with me versus what I actually used video that never got made. And then I ended up having a um, girls weekend with some friends and uh, a few weeks after that. But uh, for whatever reason, I had just managed to keep my bag packed and separate out of my office. So that when it came time to suddenly I had no longer had access to my office, um, that was the only thing I had for like two months. And so I kind of was a little bit discouraged and frustrated because I just felt like I had been on a roll and was really starting to, you know, hit my stride again. And all of a sudden, nothing. I couldn't do anything. So, you know, it's, it's been, it's been a journey and I've had to really do some searching and think about, you know, my goals and um, my schedule and my life and everything. So it's been a lot of uh, reflection and um, just kind of thinking about things in a different way and how I spend my time and my creative pursuits. So, and how did all of this fit into that goal of mine? I'm going to do my brows real quick and then I will be right back to finish that thought. All right, brows are done. I'm trying a new technique with my brows since I feel like they're starting to get a little bit heavy under here, but anyway, still playing around with that. So back to what I was saying, um, creative pursuits. So I found that as much as I enjoy making these videos and editing them and uploading them, I also still get a little bit nervous and like camera shy, like I haven't really settled into being comfortable. And I don't know if that's just because I still am not, well, for one, it's been a while, so I do still feel a little bit nervous doing this, but also I'm not sure if, you know, if, if maybe this is the right thing for me. I don't know. I still haven't decided. I still do enjoy the um, experience and the creativity and the process. I really do. But um, it takes me a while to find time to carve out where my kids aren't making too much noise. And then for editing, you know, finding some quiet time to do that and following a schedule. So, and my schedule just seems to vary each week. I really haven't found any consistency in my routine in my day-to-day -day. so I feel like I'm not sure if that lends itself to creating videos and uploading content um you know I still have been sitting down to do my makeup almost every day but I think there's a big difference when you are trying to create content and when you're just sitting down doing your thing because you know when I'm just by myself, I'm hot on YouTube or I listen to some music and I can do my makeup and be done. But when you're trying to create content, you're thinking about what you're going to say and you're thinking about, okay, am I sharing the products that I'm using? And there's just, there's just a lot, a lot to it. And um, I'm not sure if I've found my stride. And I'm going to be trying to do a few more videos at least before I make a decision about whether to continue or to just say, well, you know, I gave it a good shot. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Um, and it's not so much that, yeah, I have a very small channel and that doesn't bother me at all. I, from the beginning, told myself that even if only two or three people watched, I would still be super grateful and I really am. Um, so thank you. Um, to everyone who's held on for me and who is back and thank you if you're new for joining me we'll see where this goes <laughs> um but i felt like maybe i do have something to say and some different ways to to create um but i'm still not sh not sure about my level of comfort or if this is something that i want to continue to pour time into i was able to rediscover my love of cross stitch and I was able to rediscover um take some new time to 
continue uh, working on knitting, I made a few things over the last few months and it felt good to have a different creative outlet. So, you know, even though I have these different hobbies that I like to explore, you know, everyone has the same 24 hours, they say, but how you spend it is totally different for everybody. And it's not always the same. So I'm trying to decide how I want to continue and which creative pursuits feel most fulfilling to me. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep, keep trying to decide what it is that I like and what I find most fulfilling to myself and um, yeah, just kind of go from there. I, I'm sure we've all tried new hobbies and tried new things and sometimes we find that we fall in love with a, a certain project or a certain sport or activity and sometimes we decide, well, it was fun but it just wasn't for me and I'm kind of in that space where I'm not sure where I fall and I think maybe getting back into a routine will help me uh, decide one way or another. So yeah, I'm just gonna try to get back into some of my old content. I didn't finish my Eyeshadows of Shame series and I was really excited about that one. That felt like a project that I could work on both personally and in the creative sphere and I'm I was really proud of that project and I think I'm gonna go ahead and continue that one at least one more try I do want to wrap up my kaleidoscope palette and I do want to spin another one and I think that's something that if I decide to stop that series I think that's something I'll continue to do on my own because I really do like taking notes and sharing my feelings about it even if it's just with myself Took a brief pause there for noise and to go ahead and prime my eyes and drop things and decide on the eyeshadow I want to do today and I think I want to try this out. This is the NYX uh, Gimme Superstars color palette in Crystal Flex. This was one of their holiday palettes and I bought this from Macy's for $5 and want to go ahead and try that. So let's see. Oh yes. I'm not sure where I left off. I'm going to take the middle shade, which is the only matte in the palette, and just start here. So I can't remember where I left off with what I was saying, but um, yeah, so I think I was talking about you know, trying to make time for different creative pursuits and rediscovering my hobbies outside of making videos because these take quite a few hours to to make um, from the setup to actually sitting down to record. Um, even, re you know, doing my makeup takes a lot longer than what you watch in a video naturally and then the editing process so it could take me anywhere from two to three hours to edit a you know short video like this and so uh, I have to figure out where I want to put my creative time and some of the videos that I do most of the videos I do well all of them I do I'm fairly fairly proud of. I mean, you know, you take pride in your work and the things that you do. And even if it's rubbish, I mean, I know a lot of my videos aren't great quality, but I'm trying, I'm learning, and I am having fun in the process. But, you know, I mean, they're not great, and that's fine, but I'm being walked on. And, uh, you know, it's just, uh, it's trying to decide if, if I feel like I'm proving enough to be happy with my own content and uh, if I want to continue to put my time and effort into working on all of the things. So I'm just trying to decide what to do. Uh, also, um, I think I was talking about the series that I already started. So I really enjoyed doing my Eyeshadows of Shame series, which I mean, this would technically be part of because I've never used this one before but it's a little five pans so I'm just gonna go in 
with it, I would put, consider putting these together on the same little wedge in my Decide Now app. And I really liked that series. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun. It didn't seem to gain much traction. Maybe it's the name. I don't know. Um, or just, you know, not... Maybe it's not good content. Who knows? But I thought it was a, you know... <laughs> I think I'm clever. But as well as hilarious. But, uh, you know, I just... I'm not really, not really sure. I do want to continue doing my project panning. And I've already got some really great pans. I never got to tie up my last, um, my project pan from last year. So I think I'm going to go ahead and tie that up and introduce my new project for this year. Um, and yeah, just see where it goes. What else? Um, I'm sort of on a no buy this year. And I think I'll introduce that as well with my project pan video hopefully i'll do that next week and i really enjoy creating the empties reviews content i think that it's nice to see first impressions and i think it's great to see um you know reviews after a few uses but for most people i think it's really helpful to see when someone has completely finished a product especially with things like skincare or hair care or you know things that have claims to them because you can actually see results over time instead of just like oh I use this a few times and it's great so I have I have really enjoyed empties videos and reviews for that purpose because you can really tell what is someone gonna really love and rebuy and what have they just said based off of a couple of uses so I find that content really um, important and really um, enjoyable to make. I really enjoy doing that too. All right, this brush is really scratchy. It is a Shaney Tapered Crease Eyeshadow Brush, and this is a natural hair brush, and I think I might have forgotten to spray the conditioner on it after I washed it because it's normally not this scratchy and uncomfortable, but oh well. So I have this matte shade, and I think I'm going to... What do I want to do? I think I might put a little bit of this dark purple on the out. Mm -mm. No, I think maybe I'll just keep it simple and use this shiny, um, this shiny shade, this really pretty purple. Let's do that. Let's do that really pretty periwinkle. No, not periwinkle. This like pretty lavender. So, oh, let's see. Where am I going with this? I'm trying to remember where I was. Let's back up the car here. Okay, I think they're done making noise. I don't even know if you can hear it, but I can. It feels like I'm being walked right on top of. Anyway, I'm just using my fingertip for this application, and I've picked out a smaller, or not a smaller, but a different blending brush just to kind of not scratch the crap out of my eyes. So I'm just going to do that. Nope, there we go again. So... Again, this is another factor of me trying to figure out if, you know, continuing this is going to be something that's comfortable for both viewer and creator. But I am going to make at least a few more videos before I decide, and uh, I've, I've got goals to reach, you know? I've got, I've got goals. But at the very least, um, you can always come follow me over on Instagram. I currently have a project over there called 300 Days of Makeup, and this is day... Well, this look is going to be day 27. When this gets posted, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Um, I have no set plan. I used to try to upload on Mondays and, or Tuesdays and Fridays? Mondays, no, Tuesdays and Fridays. I think Tuesdays and Fridays were my, my goal days. But now, again, I'm just kind of like, whenever it goes out is when it goes out. So I'm just going to blend this NYX shadow. I haven't really used NYX eyeshadows in a long time. Do I have any NYX eyeshadows? I have my Midnight Chaos palette and I think those are the only NYX eyeshadows I have, but these are really nice. Um, the Midnight Chaos eyeshadow palette was a little bit chalky, but this one is really smooth. This matte is blending beautifully. This shimmer is really pretty and I like it. I feel like the purple is not showing up 
as well on camera as it is in person. It's really pretty and soft and I'm seeing a lot better depth of color there and I like it. Uh, so I just used those two colors from this and I'm going to put on some eyeliner and mascara and lipstick and we'll finish up. Okay, I went to use my Marc Jacobs lip crayon and I opened it and it smelled so bad and I thought, well, mm. and I put it on anyway and gagged. It was so bad. So this is going in my declutter bin and I'm so sad. It was one of my favorite colors, favorite formulas, but not having had access to my makeup collection for four months, just kind of I'm probably going to find more surprises like this and that's just kind of looking for a brush. That's just kind of going to have to be how it is for a little while, I guess. Um, there's my brush. So I just did, instead I picked up my, um, not that one, my Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick in Sake and I really love this. I really love the color. So I forgot to do some highlight. I'm just going to do a little bit here. I fully expect, I've already gone through my makeup collection to do my makeup inventory for the year, but I know that just like with that Marc Jacobs product, even though I tried to open and smell as many of my open products as possible, I'm sure that I missed something like that lipstick or between my inventory at the beginning of the month and now things have probably changed a little bit more. Um, let's do a little bit of this pretty pink in the inner corner and I know that some of my makeup products are getting really old like this um, highlighter palette from Cover FX. I know it's a few years past its uh, date but everything still works properly nothing smells funny I check it every single time and the products still perform just like I want them to so I'm gonna keep using it for my waterline, I have this NYX Faux Whites in Lavender Blush. I really want to just kind of like a bright lifted eye look today. My wing eyeliner looks messy, don't look too close. I'm still relearning that too. And my It Cosmetics Lash Blowout. So, um, yeah, let me just try to do my hair a little bit and we'll close this out. All right, I'm not great with hair, so... I just <laughs> took it down and fixed the headband. <laughs> Nothing exciting. But I like how the, the um, makeup came out today. Quick, simple, cute little five pan. I only used two of the colors, um, but I think it's fine. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of hop on and do a quick little update. I'm sorry that that was definitely very rambling. Editing Tiffany's going to um, cringe a lot. So um, yeah, hopefully, um, if this does get posted, well, obviously you're going to see it, but maybe I'll have my thoughts a little bit more in order by the next video. So uh, I do plan on recording at least a few more now that I've got this awkward reintroduction out of the way. Um, again, you can always follow me over on Instagram at tiffany.hamblin for more content. I have been trying to upload daily. Um, like I said, I do have this current 300 days of makeup project going. It's super fun. Uh, I'll talk more about it, I think, in another video uh, since I'm done doing makeup now. You, you don't want to just sit here and look at me talk. So that's everything for today. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And um, hopefully I'll see you again in the next one. Um, there will be a next one. I do have a full bag of empties. Um, I do want to wrap up my 2021 project pan and reintroduce or introduce this year's project. And um, yeah, that's, uh, oh yeah. And I want to uh, tie up my eyeshadows of shame with the last one and possibly spin for another one. Don't forget to go check out on Instagram to follow me over there and Again, words are hard and I'm trying to remember what it was that I used to say. <laughs> so thanks for being here today. Until next time, take care.